I was working at a local factory. Uh, the job wasn't working out. This was like back in the MySpace day, so I reached out to them on MySpace. Needless to say, I went in for the audition, made the group, and found out like they were living in LA, working with a major record label. I really did it just because I loved music, but come to find out they were really doing this for a living. It was like performances after performances and you know, just living a life. It was just probably the uh, what everybody dreams of doing, pretty much, is what we were doing. The label had no idea what to do with us because we were a all black male pop group. Our fan base wanted R&B and we wanted to do pop, so we wasn't getting accepted the way we wanted to get accepted. And then you just get the phone call, like basically like, hey, uh, we cutting ties. Yeah, you guys gotta get out of the apartment. Now I'm living in the streets, uh, no money, uh, no car. Came out here to do a job. You know, I have a daughter back home. Uh, you know, I want to make sure she has the best life. So I can't, I can't give up. And then I tried for almost two years to do the same thing. And it's just at one particular time that I really think about more than anything. And that's just the time that, that um, I didn't eat for like three days. And I think about that and I always remember like how hungry I really was. And I'm like, yeah, I can't do this, man. Like, I can't do it. I gotta try something different because this is not what uh, my daughter deserves. That's when I decided to uh, come back here to Rockville, Illinois. And once I came back, I said, um, <laughs> I'd never be in that position again. I ended up getting enough money to get into a real estate class. It paid off, you know, it paid off very well. And um, not only that, I felt I felt so much better because as soon as I came back, I was not in the best financial place either. But I had my daughter and I was able to show her things that, that a dad is supposed to show. You know what I mean? I'm able to be around her at all times now. When I seen her fall in love with gymnastics, it was like, I could see it in her eyes, like this is the same look I had when I realized how much I loved music. And I see that when she goes and competes, like she has this look in her eyes, like, man, I love this. I cherish being a dad more than I, ch I cherish anything else I've accomplished. I love the fact that I do have kids, and I love the fact that um, me and their mom, we work so hard together to be able to give them a good life.